Okay, so we've got a, a Dapey silencer pump here. These guys have got the great big casing on the back, um, which supposedly makes them run quieter. This is a Davy. This is not too old, this one, but uh, its life has ended. But this video, I just want to show you how to open them up to get inside to have a look at the motor. Um, this one's all in good condition. Everything's fine at the front end. But um, to get them open, it's a little bit confusing as to where they come apart. So here in the end is a bolt. So you just need to get a spanner or even a pair of pliers. It's not done in super tight normally. And um, we take that out. And uh, then, again, it's quite tight. So what you actually need to do, there, there is an end cap here that needs to come off. But you can also take this whole casing off here to fully inspect the motor. It is just a matter of working this end cap. So you see, you don't hit here where the rubber seal is. The end cap is inside there. So you just gotta grab this bit and pull it back. And if you have a look in here, this motor has gotten water inside and then the, the silencer casing has ended up like its own little private swimming pool and flooded the motor. Absolutely filled it with water and flooded it and corroded it. So there's no repairing this guy. It's absolutely stuffed and, um, and dead. And this is a, a failure of design. You know, it's one thing to waterproof a pump, but if the water gets in, you sort of still need to be able to let it get out. And this motor clearly has gone underwater and hasn't happened. But anyway, with the um, casing here now, you can actually, well, just with that one bolt is the only thing we've taken out. Um, let's stand this up because this casing, you can see it splitting here, just in front, um, that casing, will come off as well. Here we go. See it's opening up. Now, really good, if any water leaks in here, you see it'll spill around and supposedly not go back. But uh, yeah, that hasn't worked. And now that's as far as that comes off because you've got the, the wiring for the uh, capacitor is um, there. So if you, you know, let's that the capacitor out like that, and then we can take that casing right off and you see there's another plastic ring here on the end which is um, how that then end shield comes off so very ingenious different design but uh, she's filled up with water and any motor that fills with water as you can see just corrodes like that and uh, time for the bin